Hi Fitness Blender, I'm Kayla, a doctor of physical therapy, and today I have a no equipment upper body workout with cardio intervals. Now I've included your warm up and your cool down before we transition into a descending strength training ladder with three different cardio intervals. Now all of this is gearing us up for a three minute AMRAP finisher, which stands for as many reps as possible to fully fatigue those muscles that we just worked out. So go ahead, grab your exercise mat and let's get started. All right guys, I started the timer. We're gonna head down to the mat for our warm up. Here we go, hands and knees, fingers spread out, wrists below your shoulders, and you are gonna push the floor away as you protract your shoulders. You're gonna do about three to five of them, and then sit back on your heels and roll out those wrists. Make sure you do clockwise, counterclockwise circles, really get that range of motion going before you head back down into those shoulder blade push-ups. Okay, stay down here, take a high plank and pull your hips up towards the ceiling into a downward dog. You're gonna stay here, really work into your range of motion, both with your hamstrings and those shoulders. Start to engage the core a little bit. Okay, drop it down. You're gonna take a child's pose. Onto the exercise mat. Now, this time, staying here, you're gonna lift one arm up and start to work those muscles right in between your shoulder blades. So we're gonna do a nice lift off. Remember, keep your thumbs pointed up towards the ceiling as you lift. All right, quickly transition. We are going to do a boxer shuffle. So small movements side to side while we add in some freestyle arms. So I like to do crisscross with mine. I also like to do some swimmer circles swimmer circles forward, swimmer circles backwards, just really getting that range of motion ready. Do a little scap retraction, and let's take it back down to the mat. So we're gonna start all over again with those scapular push-ups, shoulder blade push-ups. Couple of them, you should be a little looser by now. Sit back on your heels, roll out those wrists. Don't forget, get that clockwise and counterclockwise direction going. Right back into those scapular retraction or scapular protractions, excuse me. Good. Go ahead, transition into that high plank, into your downward dog. Make sure you breathe through this. Try not to spend too much time in each position. Remember, this is our warm up to get us moving and flowing. Don't want to linger too long. Okay, drop it down, child's pose into those lift offs. So, touchdown position, one arm lifting off the exercise mat. This is all upper back, a lot of upper back work. Okay, hop on up, right into that boxer shuffle, get that heart rate going, and add in those freestyle arms if you still need some range of motion, attention, and love. If you need to, go ahead and take a low impact or no impact boxer shuffle, just moving from side to side. Doesn't really matter which modification you choose, just keep it moving. All right, everyone, couple seconds. We're gonna quickly transition into the fun descending ladder. So we're gonna be starting on our exercise mat in a forearm plank 
rock. So 40 seconds, 15 seconds off, pop up for a 30 second cardio interval. I'll walk you through it. Here we go. Forearm plank, nice and tight. And we're rocking forward and backwards. Now use your legs to control the movement, but use your upper body to stabilize. And keep that core nice and tight the entire time. My shoulders are already feeling it. I don't know about you guys. Okay, number 15 seconds here. We get a little bit of a rest. Then we're moving right back down into Superman holds. So for this entire next 40 seconds, you're gonna wanna try and keep that. Ready? Let's go. So with your Superman holds, you wanna do nice tight core. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that upper back. Squeeze those glutes and strong, strong legs. I like to keep my toes pointed. Some people like to flex them. It's your preference. We are more than halfway through and we have totally got this. Good. Try and bring your shoulders back and down and relax. 15 seconds here. We're gonna stay down. We are going to do a bird dog, but plank style. So this is really gonna challenge our stability and core strength. All right, so you're gonna take a high plank, keep those legs nice and wide. You're gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg, and lower. Opposite arm, opposite leg. A lot of stability going on here. If this is a little challenging for you, Go ahead, feel free to drop one body part and just practice the legs lifting or you can practice arms only. If this is too much on your shoulders, go ahead, drop it down to that forearm plank and that'll, that'll take you through the rest of this ladder. But giving you a little bit of break, we are going into tricep dips with an ankle tap. I love these. I really don't, but here we go. So you are doing a tabletop position, tricep dip, ankle tap, ankle tap, tricep dip. It's not a big dip. And dip, up, tap, tap. Oof. Core, core, core. Come on, core. There we go. How are you guys doing? I know, it's a lot on our wrists. Trust me, you're gonna get a break soon. We're almost there. Up and up. Here we go. Lower your bum. Give yourself a couple of seconds. Turn right over. We are doing pike reaches now. So similar thing, it's basically a downward dog reaching for the opposite leg. So in that pike or downward dog, you are going to reach your opposite hand to the opposite shin or ankle. A lot of upper body. A lot of shoulder mobility going on in this workout today. It's a good thing though. When you take out the weights and the resistance bands, the kettlebells, body weight is one of the most effective forms of resistance that we can give our bodies. So, and of course, it wouldn't be an upper body, no equipment workout without push-ups, right? So here we go. We're gonna finish with push-ups. Take whatever modification you would like, whether it's regular push-ups, elevated push-ups, or push-ups on your knees, just like that. 
Make sure to keep those elbows tucked in. We don't want chicken arm or chicken wing push-ups. Almost there. All right, guys, finish that rep. Try and catch your breath. Then you're gonna stand. We are going right into those 30 seconds of cardio. So, shadow jumps. Ready, set, go. You're basically gonna pretend like you have a jump rope in your hand. You can either do side to side, like a fast boxer shuffle, or you can do a both legs, jumping off at the same time. Whatever gets your heart rate going is what I would like you to practice. So, or you can alternate and pretend like you're dancing. Same thing. All right, so that is the end of round one. Go ahead, take a very quick water break. I will see you back to finish rounds two and three. I'll catch you shortly. All right, Fitness Blender, let's take it back down to the exercise mat. We are going for round two. Here we go. Forearm plank rocks. So 30 second intervals, same rest break. So 15 seconds. At the end, we are doing 30 seconds of C skips. So if those are new to you, or if that's an unfamiliar term, no worries, I got you. Remember, keep a tight core, and lower body is doing the work, upper body is stabilizing. Okay, 15 seconds. Give yourself just a little bit of breathing room. Remember, next is our Superman holds. After that is that high plank bird dog variation. So, Superman's 30 seconds. Really squeeze those Muscles between your shoulder blades. Try and keep your shoulders back and down. Because this is an isometric hold, it is purely what you put into it. So make this work for you. This is also a great lower body isometric challenge as well. Okay, drop it down. Remember, get ready for that high plank with the bird dog. So you can do opposite arm, opposite leg, or drop out the leg or the arm portion. Okay, here we are. Take your time, really, really strong core. Strong upper body. and bring on the challenge. Embrace the challenge. Whew. Yeah, I was really struggling towards the end, but we did it. Okay, remember this one is that tricep dip, the mini tricep dip with that ankle reach. So reverse tabletop, small dip, Reach for that ankle. Whole lot of obliques, whole lot of core. Try and control your movements and try not to land like an elephant like I just did. All right, guys, go ahead, roll back onto your stomach. This one is that pike reach or downward dog. All right, I'm gonna get into position. Opposite arm reaches for the opposite ankle. The trick to doing this 
is to keep the pike position while you reach. Really stabilize through those shoulders and avoid rotating or twisting if possible. Go ahead, finish that rep. Go ahead, finish out the best you can. We are going to finish out, how many times can I say finish? We are going to wrap it up with these push-ups. 30 seconds. Oh, I just said finish like three times in a row in a five second period. Oh, and I can't talk and push up at the same time. Check your chicken wings. No chicken wings with these push-ups, please. All right. Pop on up. Like I said, we are doing C skips. So basically, high knee up, high knee out. High knee up, high knee out. So, so here we go. So up and out, up and out. I like to do about three before I switch sides. Out, up, out. Okay, so it's gonna go up, two, three, and switch. One, two, three. A lot of bouncing, so go ahead and leave out those small bounces if you need to. All right, no rest. Down, forearm rock. 20 seconds for this round. 20 seconds, same exercises, 15 second break. That one really gets your, that one really gets your blood flowing. All right, remember, Superman holds, then high plank. Superman isometric, 20 seconds. Let's get it. Up. It's kind of a cruel challenge to make you hold this when your heart is racing. I realize that now. All right. Oh, that 15 second rest break is kind of a lifesaver, huh? Oh, you catch your break, then we're gonna catch your break, catch your breath, then we're gonna dive down, high plank. Oh, this one's really fun when your muscles are fatigued, huh? Good. I always like to finish my rep before I drop it down and get ready for my next one. We've got that tricep, that mini tricep dip with the ankle reach. Tabletop, here we go. Lower, reach, and reach. Squeeze those glutes. I know this is upper body, but the glutes are really helping to stabilize here. All right, more than halfway done. We've got that pike reach or downward dog reach, and then we are going to finish up with our push-ups and pop up for that cardio interval. So here we go. Pike and reach. Remember, you're really trying to limit the rotation as you get this exercise done. Breathe through the pain. Right? Slowly come down. Give your wrists a little bit of a twirl. Clockwise, counterclockwise. And then we are finishing up with push-ups. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, catch your breath. Come on up. We are doing a lateral shuffle with a tap. So you're gonna use the length of your exercise mat to help give you some markers. So we're gonna tap, tap down into like a mini curtsy lunge, just like that. You can do high knees if you want a little more of a challenge, or you can keep it nice and low to the ground. Whatever you choose to do, just keep moving. After this, we have got a really quick water break again, mentally prep for this AMRAP that is coming up. I'll see you soon. We are finishing strong with an AMRAP, which stands for as many reps as possible. Your job is to do eight to 10 reps or whatever you can safely handle. So here we go. Bear crawl hover. You're gonna twist to one side, kick your leg out and reach up to the ceiling. And you are going to alternate between sides. Like I said, eight to 10 reps or as many as you can safely do without sacrificing technique, pain, etc. This is a whole lot of core work and stability in your upper and lower body. Like I said, we are really trying to fatigue these muscles. All right, I made it through. I've given myself a couple minutes of rest. Now we are going right into inchworms. Remember, eight to 10. At the end, go ahead and pull in those hamstrings and glutes to help protect your spine as you come up to stand. We are halfway through, and I am halfway through with my reps. Oh, this is such a great upper body move. Something that we love to detest, right? Oh, okay, all right, you guys, of course, burpees do your best take whatever modifications you need You've got 10 seconds to go. If you are catching your breath or if you're finishing out your burpees, we've got you. Whew. All right, everyone. Give you a couple seconds to catch your breath. We are gonna transition into the last part of this workout, which is our really, really hard earned cool down. So grab your exercise mat again. 30 seconds each, take a wide stance. Take one arm and bring it across your body. You really wanna use that other hand to give a nice gentle pull so that you're feeling it right around the outside of your shoulder. Try and calm your breathing. 
can have what we call controlled breathlessness. Good, same thing, other side. Sometimes I like to play around with my placement a little bit, especially my traction hand. I like to give myself a little bit of a bias so that I'm hitting these muscles right around the shoulder blade as well. Feels so good. All right, shake out your wrists a little bit. We're gonna be doing some wrist stretches. So take your right hand, place it on the four fingers, hold your, tuck your elbow into your side, and go ahead and push that out forward. This is how it looks. Give yourself some nice forearm stretches. Just like that. Take a break. You're also going to point your hand down, so fingers down towards the floor. Same thing. Keep that elbow tucked in and slowly extend out. And then when you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. So I'm going to start holding my fingers back, elbow tucked in, and I'm going to push directly in front of me so that my arm is level with my shoulder. I'm gonna point my hand, my fingers down, do the same thing, get the other part of that forearm. Good, I always like to take it up and come on down and just let everything hang. You can rest your fingertips down on the floor, give your glutes and hamstrings a little bit of a stretch, slowly roll up. Come up, go ahead and stretch out that torso, those hip flexors, and dive back down. Good, okay. Now, go ahead, take the right hand back behind the, or right foot, sorry, back behind the left like you're going and dropping into a curtsy, and you are going to tilt over back towards towards the back curtsying leg. This really opens up what we call the lateral line. That's why it's called a lateral line stretch. So reaching that hand up towards the ceiling and stretching that side. Good, go ahead and switch sides. You can do it with your hand resting on your hip or if you have a wall, like I originally demonstrated, you can use the wall as a little bit of a balancing point. I love this stretch. I think it feels so good. I do it multiple times during the day, especially my work day. Good. Okay, we are almost done. Last one. Of course, right into that child's pose. Go ahead, rest your forehead down on your mat. I like to lift, do my child's pose stretch with my palms facing up towards the ceiling. I feel like it really emphasizes the lats back there that we just worked a lot. And slowly take your time. Transition out of that stretch. Stay down there if you need a little bit more. Just watch for some lightheadedness, but thank you for putting up with me during this workout. I hope you guys loved it, and I will catch you guys again soon. Workout complete.